today we're going to look at the development of VR-based rehab equipment, one of the Ministry of Science and ICT and NIPA-supported projects that are making life better in a contactless era. With new technologies in this fourth industrial revolution, the non-contact and non-face-to-face -face digital economy has been growing exponentially. And because of the COVID-19 pandemic, new technologies have to be developed to keep Korea competitive. One of the projects aims to develop customized VR-based rehabilitation equipment for pediatric cerebral palsy patients. Since cerebral palsy is a lifelong disorder, it is very important to detect problems early and provide appropriate treatment to ensure normal growth and development and motor nerves of children with cerebral palsy. However, rehabilitation treatment requires face-to-face -face contact and an environment to simultaneously give treatment to multiple patients in a limited space. This requires a new paradigm of non-face-to-face -face treatment with COVID-19. Therefore, one company has developed a customized VR rehabilitation program for patients with pediatric cerebral palsy that uses light and sound in the treatment of pediatric cerebral palsy. Specifically, they developed a large VR all-in-one device and age-customized program for cerebral palsy patients. Second, they developed a portable type, small VR general type device and customized programs for patients with cerebral palsy by age and for other related rehabilitation patients. As a global leader in overcoming the pandemic, Korea has been creating non-face-to-face services to help make the world a better and safer place to live. The home care VR market for cerebral palsy patients will be revitalized even in virtual situations by solving the space issue of rehab medicine in small and mid-sized hospitals, by expanding general type equipment, and by supplying large-scale integrated equipment to big hospitals and rehab treatment centers. This is expected to improve satisfaction with patient treatment and greatly contribute to the improvement of service quality and profits of medical and rehab institutions.